All right, how's everyone doing today? Hopefully better than I was about uh, two hours ago because I'm sweating bullets. <laughs> uh, I've recently picked up an R5, uh, I'm a Sony shooter, uh, but the 4K60 and all that extra video uh, specs were, were great for me. Uh, I'm also, I also shoot photos, so having the megapixels and having some good video quality is, is great. So uh, the overheating stuff, I didn't matter, it didn't matter to me, but uh, that's not what this video is about. Uh, this video is about possible corruption of files uh, on your uh, Canon R5. I don't know if it's CFast uh, Express issue or a Canon issue or an R5 issue. I, I'm not really sure. This is my first Canon camera, so uh, it's all really new to me. Um, so I picked, I got this uh, at launch. I got it Thursday. Uh, which is great. So since last Thursday, I've been actually playing with it as much as possible, learning the focusing, you know, ISO levels, tracking all that stuff, and it's really good. Um, but yesterday was the first time actually shooting a wedding event or, or a paid event, and it was a, it was a wedding, um, uh, video-wise, of course. And uh, yeah, ran into an issue. <laughs> uh, I don't have a CFast Express card reader, so I'm just kind of plugging a micro USB into the camera, plugging that into uh, my, my computer and viewing the files and transferring them that way. Um, as I'm viewing the files on my computer before transferring them, everything looked fine. I selected all my files, copied them over, it was good. I went to go look at the files and I noticed there was six files that didn't have thumbnails. Everything else had a thumbnail except for uh, the, the video file and one, and one raw file. Adobe Raw hasn't caught up to the R5 yet. And I'm like, oh, well, this is weird. So I hover my mouse over it and it says zero bytes. I'm like, zero bytes? What the heck? Uh, so I'm like, that's weird. So instantly I'm sweating bullets. So I go over to the camera, I look over, I see, that, I see there's a thumbnail, but I hover my mouse over the icon and it says zero bytes. And I'm like, what the heck just happened? I'm, I'm literally like dying. If you've ever, <laughs> if you've been shooting long enough, this has happened to you at least once in your life. And I'm, I'm, I don't know what to do. This was more of a, a core wedding package. So the only things I recorded for the most part are important pieces, dancing, speeches, ceremony. So six of these files disappearing is a big deal. And the R5 doesn't record simu, uh, simu, simu, what the hell is it? Sim, simultaneously. <laughs> Jesus. So everything's stuck on this one gig card, or not one, uh, it's a one terabyte pro grade uh, CFast Express card. So everything is on this, not on an SD. So I'm sweating bullets. I'm looking at repairing the card and doing this stuff and trying to figure out what's going on. Um, I did end up, was like, I did come up with an idea of, well, does it play in the camera? I didn't, I didn't check. I, throughout the day, I checked on random files just to see if they, you know, to see what they look like and everything was fine. And I could play it on the camera. Everything looked fine. So I was, I was very happy <laughs> after that. I'm like, all right, files are on here. I can make this work regardless of the scenario. Um, so my, my first attempt was, open up the video file in the camera, and in the camera you can actually trim and edit, a little like trim it, cut it on each side, and then save it as a new file or uh, overwrite the original. So my thinking is, well, if I just trim nothing and just save it as a new file. So I did that. It goes through its paces. I take, I plug the thing in, I do, I do the same thing, and the same, same thing happened. It's a different file naming convention, um, but um, still zero bytes. I can see a thumbnail, transfer it over, everything's dead. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I jump on the you know Canon, Canon Facebook forums, uh, R5, R6, or whatever it is, um, and throw it out there. And someone's like, you know, you could try the EOS utility and see if that helps. I load up the software, I install it, I select the files that, or I select one file that I know that was uh, corrupt, and I hit download, pick the uh, folder, and there's a progress bar. So the progress bar means it's actually transferring a large amount of data, because if it was zero bytes, it would be like, boop, done. So this was great. This was like, oh, 
hit refresh as it's going because I'm like super anxious. And the file sizes are actually going bigger. You know, 40, it's, I think it stopped at like 45 megabits or bytes, 45 megabytes. So um, it stopped there. So I was like, oh, oh, I don't know. But it still had the progression bar, but as I hit refresh, it just, that was the max that it kind of like previewed. Um, when it was done, my video file was back. Uh, I was floored. So I don't, I don't know what, what, what happened here, but something with like, uh, I don't know, like maybe like a header of the, the video file just got corrupt and I have no idea, but the fix is use the e EOS utility. I'll put a link in the description, but, uh, transferring the six files through that into a folder on my computer, all my stuff came back. Same, same quality, nothing's changed. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it was, uh, oh, it was very stressful, very stressful. I was gonna punt this camera right over my hill. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know, maybe a firmware update might fix this. So uh, I hope this helps you because um, this clearly helped me and there's no way that I'm the only person that this is gonna happen to. Uh, I hope I got to help you out. And this is shooting on the R5 and the autofocus is just freaking bonkers on this thing. But um, all right, have a good day. Carry on.